48 now is there really an instrument that can measure love you they want to charge you at many <laughs> gas stations and truck stops in, in a this quarter country. yeah love meters claim to do the trick question is are they accurate wise guy matt sellen has the answer matt what is all of this well okay the birds we'll get to next because okay. th those have to do with love meters but it's sort of indirectly these things that you can buy at, at at the finer gift shops that claim to to measure how in love you are and so on really what they do is they measure temperature Okay. okay, and so if you have warm hands, you can get the liquid to go gushing up to the top. So let's let's see if, if Matt is, is hot here. And uh, oh, there we go. There he goes. If I grab one of these, one, what, you want to try that? Yes, see I'll if... try mine. Okay. I'm my hands are always cold. I don't think this is. You just hang on for a little uh, while. It'll it'll start just <laughs> getting. Fresh. You should be getting cold fish. Now the way these Obviously. things work is it's pretty interesting actually, is that there's a liquid inside these things called methylene chloride whose boiling point is just about the same as your body temperature and so that means that it's very the pressure above this liquid is very very sensitive to temperature and so what happens is if you look at these things kind of carefully let me hold it up there's liquid in this bottom bulb if you heat it up with your hand just a little bit the pressure increases and it pushes the liquid up this tube to the top one okay okay and so that's that's the love meter now I'm cold <clears throat> It now, apparently it's still not going. And what does this have to do with the dunking birds, you may be asking at this point? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, if you look very carefully, this is exactly what the dunking bird looks like, except he has a hat on here and a feather glued oh, to the bottom. Okay. okay. And so what happens is, in the dunking bird, you get the temperature at the bottom higher than the temperature at the top. The liquid rises up this thing, and that makes him kind of top-heavy, and he tips over. Once he tips over, the liquid runs back down to the bottom, and he flips back up again. So the water here in this is attracting them? Am I getting ahead of myself? Uh, no, yeah, you, okay, no, this is a very good question. So here, you'll notice nobody is grabbing the bottom of these birds to heat up the bottom to force the liquid up. Right. Okay. Instead, the way you get a difference in temperature is that you cool off the head. Okay, so instead of having the, the bottom warm, you have a, a cold head, mm -hmm. okay? And so the way you get a cold head is you put a little water on it, the water evaporates, that cools off the head, and that kind of sucks the liquid up to the head, the thing flips oh. over, as soon as it flips, the liquid leaks back down to the bottom and he flips back up again, and the thing just keeps going huh. back and forth and back and forth. And this thing will keep bobbing and weaving like this all day long. So this is, so how does this relate then to love, these are the love meters, yes? Right, so these are the love meters, because these measure temperature okay. okay so what about the ones that you see really quickly the ones that you see where you put your finger in there is it the same premise the ones at the wherever the gas stations are I think those things are either completely not doing anything or what they do is they they measure the resistance of your skin so if you're sweating a little bit then they probably say you're in love you know what I'm saying okay, okay so it's all right. about how much your blood is pumping apparently mine is not today Try this uh, one. cold hands warm heart Jennifer I That's guess it. anyway <laughs> all right if you have questions down. for Matt here's how you can do it send them in to the why you can go to his website for one go to wiseguy.net you can also send your questions to us through email at the morning show at wcia.com or leave a message on the morning show feedback line. We'll pass it on to him, 373-3661.